How you doing out there in YouTube land? The stiletto coming at you today with my Cold Steel Recon, Recon 1 collection. Let's go to the specs first. Recon 1, I have the 4 inch blade one versions and the um, 5.5 inch blade version. Let's first start off with the 4 inch blade ones. Recon 1, weight 5.3 ounces. Blade thickness is three and a half millimeter. Handle length is five and three eighths inches. Overall length is four and three eight. I mean nine and three eighths inches. Four inch blade. And that's called the large version. The extra large version has a five and a half inch blade. Weight is eight ounces. Thickness is four millimeters thick. The handle length is six and three quarter inches long. Overall length is twelve and a quarter inches. All right, let's talk about them a little bit. This is the clip blade version. All of them have, all of them are made the same way. They have a 6061 aluminum backspacer. The pocket clip says cold steel registered trademark. They have thick G10 scales. No additional liner at all. Just G10 scales or handles. No, sta no stainless steel or, or aluminum liner at all. No partial liner like the Spada. It's just totally G10. Very nice. This clip blade version is a hollow grind. The XL version, the new XL version that's in the clip blade is a flat grind. But the, the large version has a hollow grind. Very nice. All done in black Teflon. These fit in your pocket very nicely. When you're carrying them in your pocket, you don't see any blade at all. That's what I like. I carry my Recons. Not this one though. This is not my favorite one. Just because I like the... I, I bought this one basically to collect. When I first bought these, they didn't have the spear point. They just had the... They had the... um. Tonto version and the clip blade version. I love recons. The weight for the large version is just right. The handle fits my hand perfectly. It's like a perfect fit. I like how they're all black and they hide in your, hide in your pocket. Conceal very nicely. I like the black clips. I wish Cold Steel would use black clips on all their knives. Because I don't like the shiny clip because it attracts attention to your pocket. People go, oh, you got a knife in your pocket. These are beautiful knives. I really like them. They have this in a spear point now, too. So they have spear point, clip point, and tanto, and tanto, uh, tanto grind. Or should I say grind. All of them are hollow grinds for the, for the um, large versions. This is my favorite one out there, though. This one's a little bit lighter. This is my favorite one out of the large ones. I just prefer the Tonto blade because I like that wicked snap cut. I love Lynn Thompson's to uh, American Tonto blades. I think they're very well designed. And I like the way that they have the they have thickness all the way down the point almost. The, the, the clip, blade, clip blade and these are very thick too though. Don't get me wrong, these are thick, thick blades too. The thumb studs aren't totally am ambidextrous, so. They're, they're, you can open them from either side, but the left side, unless you flip it over, is not very, doesn't, doesn't have very much um, traction or, or area to grab, grab onto. This side has like a, it's thicker. I mean, it's more extended out further, should I say. This one I carried a lot. It's starting to show wear on the Teflon coating. It's starting to wear off on the blade where it rubs in my pocket. But these are very nice. If you need a utility knife, I would, I would go with the clip blade. If you need a knife for like EDC utilities, like everyday cutting chores and stuff like that, I would go with this one. But if you want a tactical knife, I would, I would, I would recommend the Tonto blade. 
Japanese Tonto style, or American Tonto style, should I say, Lynn Thompson's Tonto style is very nice. Very strong knife, too. Very nice. And these just came out this past year. This is my newest one. And I love it. I absolutely love this knife. It's a perfect size for self-defense. And with the Teflon coating, I think, you know, even though it's the G10, usually G10s are a little bit slower than aluminum line um, cold steel knives, it's still fast. It's very fast. Very beautiful knife. These have a four millimeter blade as opposed to three and a half millimeters, so it's even thicker and stronger than the than a large version. Very well made. To me, this is the kind of knife that, you know, it's a combat knife. It's something you probably want to take into combat if you're going into combat, if you're going to carry a pocket knife or have a folding knife. It's about as close as you can get to a fixed blade knife and a folding knife is, a, is one of these with a triad lock. The Voyager versions of these or should I say these are the versions of Voyagers actually, just like a G10 version of the Voyager. Voyagers came out first. But the Voyagers are very nice too. To me they're like the best best value for your dollar. Because basically you're getting the same type of knife, same style. The handle on the Voyager actually it's a little bit more comfortable in the hand because it's got more girth to it. It's not as flat. It's not as thin as these. And um, it still has good grip with the grivery scales because it's got a little bit more girth. And it fits your hand very nicely too. And the blade is, this blade is a little bit wider. These are a little bit wider than the Voyagers. The, the width of the blade is a little bit wider. But the Voyager is wide enough though. And they're both four millimeter thick. And the, the large sizes are three and a half millimeter just like these. And you got the stone wash finish, which is a lot more durable finish. But if you need a stealth knife, this is the way to go. If you want a knife that's going to fit in your pocket very nicely, this is the way to go. The Voyagers show a little bit of blade on the, lar on the extra large version. The, the large version doesn't show any blade though when it sits in your pocket. But the, the extra large version shows a little bit of blade because the pocket clip's not high enough in my opinion. This one has a totally ambidextrous thumb stud as opposed to like the large version. Very nice. And these are razor sharp. Come from factory razor sharp, ready for combat. To me, these are, to me, the recon one was designed to be a tactical knife. And that's the reason why this one's not all scraped up because I understand the Teflon coating wears off on these very fastly if you use them for heavy use. But I, these are tactical knives for me. These are, you know, knives that I, I carry in my pocket because I don't carry a gun. Just in case I need to have a weapon in my pocket. That's the purpose of these. And these are excellent for that. Super strong. If you get caught in a pinch, this, this is what I want to have in my pocket, something like this. These and the Voyagers and the Tau Wars are my favorite knives to carry. Very nice. Those are my Recon ones. That's all of them. Hope you enjoyed. Stiletto out. Highly recommend it. Stiletto out. Peace out.